All right, guys, uh, first things first, reference number of minus 84. Okay, you multiply one by, you multiply the number that comes from to the x squared by the last number. We're going to get minus 84. You're then trying to think of two numbers that multiply to give you minus 84, but will add to give you minus 8. Then, minus 14 and plus 6 is a good choice. Okay, if you didn't know how to do this, you could always do the minus b formula if you couldn't figure out the two numbers that work. Okay, that's always an option. Now, this means that it's going to be x minus 14, and then followed by uh, followed by x minus 6. So x minus 14, and then followed by x minus 6 uh, equals 0. Okay, now, uh, next thing, guys, is... Uh, yes, sir? It is x plus 6, my fault. So x plus 6. If you want to quickly multiply that out, you could check that it turns back into x squared minus 8x minus 84 if you wanted or had the time. Nextly, x minus 4 equals 0. Or sorry, 14. Or x plus 6 equals 0. Then what happens when you move it over? x equals 14 and x equals minus 6. Okay, now, okay guys, uh, what we have next is x equals 40 and x equals 6. Now, what I often say to you guys is, imagine that instead of this question we just did, imagine instead of having x's, we didn't have x, but we just had a blank spot instead. So that's blank spot squared, whoa, blank spot squared minus 8 times blank spot minus 84 equals 0. So imagine that there's no x, just a blank area, okay? This blank area can be filled of anything you want. So this means that the blank spot will equal 14 and the other blank spot will equal minus 6. Uh, is there any questions thus far about what we've done? Okay, I'll just stop you here. Put that in, okay? So t squared minus 5t. T squared minus 5t. And then this is t squared minus 5t. Then this will be t squared minus 5t. I think a lot of you have already figured out all you need to do is just change the answer. Just change the x into t squared minus 5t, don't you? But I'm just explaining why that works. Okay? So, what happens next, guys, is you have a new formula. You have t squared minus 5t minus 14 equals 0. The other one you have is uh, t squared minus 5t plus 6 equals 0. You have two different uh, quadratic equations, two answers for each equation, which, which should result in four different answers. So two numbers that multiply to give you minus 14, but add to give you minus 5. Minus 7 and plus 2. On the other side, two numbers that multiply to give you plus 6, but add to give you minus 5. Uh, minus 6 plus 1 won't work. I'll, I'll explain why. Now, minus 6 plus 1, it will add to give you minus 5. Good God. Minus 6. Sorry, I'm going to have to reload my software in a minute. It's really behaving wrong today. Okay. Minus 6 and plus 1. They add to give you minus 5, but they don't multiply to give you plus 6, so you have to try something else. Yes, sir? Minus three, minus three. Try minus 3 minus 2. Minus 3 minus 2 will multiply to give you plus 6, and will add to give you minus 5, so everything's perfect. So the answer to this one? T minus 7 equals 0. T equals 7, eventually. And then the other one will be t equals minus 2. Okay, next one, t minus 3. Okay, give me a second longer here. Okay, just, I'm just going to skip this for a sec. t equals 3. t equals... Two. Happy enough for that? Okay. 
Uh, I noticed a few of you 